Um, as chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, do you have any impressions on the governor reconstituting the uh, Judicial Selection Committee while there are two uh, lawsuits making their way through the courts? Well, it'll be interesting to see what the outcomes of those lawsuits are. Uh, but my, my main concern is to get a yes vote on question number two on the ballot, which is the Founding Fathers' uh, method of selecting judges in Tennessee. And I was very glad that in response to another question yesterday in our retreat that Governor Haslam said that he is very much in favor of a yes, yes, yes vote uh, for all three of the amendments that are on the ballot next year. And that's my primary concern, how we get there. Um, is, is, is of less importance in my mind. Um, do you have any concerns about him reconstituting the committee with um, members like Tom Lawless, who is an outspoken opponent of direct elections of um, state judges? Uh, well, I, I think he took a very conservative approach in just putting back on 11 of the people who are already on the committee. Um, but, uh, you know, it's uh, that's what is uh, what he's able to do through executive order is of course entirely the prerogative of the executive and so I, I, I you know can't, can't criticize um, his decisions as the executive if I could just ask one more on today's agenda do you anticipate that this discussion on two on two-year law schools to continue you don't expect legislation